Mike, opening day, it's uh, Redbird migration, uh, fog lifted, day's beautiful, and you finished an air show season and all set and ready to plan for the next one. How'd this year go? You know, this was uh, certainly a different year for everybody. It started out with a lot of uncertainty in the beginning of the year. We had probably five or six air shows cancel right off in the beginning. So uh, here I am at Redbird Migration after spending probably about uh, 11 of the last 12 weeks on the road doing air show after air show. And that's what happened is we ended up flying an entire season in a half a season's worth of air show. My whole team went above and beyond. We flew about 150 hours in a month and a half, and we drove our truck 10,000 miles in the last five weeks. So we've been all over the place, and that's just what it took to get the job done. But when you have a lot of people relying on you to promote their businesses and to go out there and fly air shows in front of America, that's what you do. Any surprises? There were a few surprises. I just came from the wings over Houston, mm -hmm. no jet team, a massive crowd of people. And then I went to some other shows that you would think would have huge crowds and they had very small crowds. So I'm not sure what the formula was, but I think if I was in the air show business to try to produce a show that goes great from 11 o'clock in the morning until four o'clock in the afternoon, boom, 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 action, action, action is the way to do it. What's the overall morale in the community right now? Let's face it, we had a tough year. A lot of stuff got thrown at us uh, between what happened with sequestration, what happened with the shutdown, what's happened with the fact that a lot of air shows all of a sudden couldn't even find a Fed to sign off paperwork and things of that nature. This was a god-awful year. What's the morale like right now? You know, I think that during the middle of the season, everybody was uh, sort of, oh, woe was me, and wondering, you know, what's going to happen, hoping it didn't happen again for next year. And all the signs that we hear are the Blue Angels are going to come back, the Thunderbirds are going to come back, and as great as the performers are and as great as the air shows are, it's just hard to compete with six after-burning jets out there. The entire air show business is ready to have them back. But we did do that, though, didn't we? And I think that's something the airshow community really has some justifiable pride in. What do you think? Absolutely. There's a great spirit of aviation amongst all the performers, and that's a great thing. And people, I think, take it for granted, but the kids and the general public, they look up in the sky and see people doing amazing things, and it's inspirational. When we're on the inside, you don't see that all the time. It's the same guy doing the same stuff, but to somebody that's never been to the air show before, and they look up in the sky, it's magic, and, and we're able to ignite a spark in a little kid to make them do great things. Maybe it's not in aviation, maybe it's scholastically, or maybe it's in another sport, but that's our job as the aviation industry because we all do special things no matter what you fly whether it's an air show a balloon a multi-engine airplane or you're a flight instructor teaching somebody how to fly it's a cool thing and people need to understand that we have a responsibility to parlay that to the public what will you do and what do you want to see the industry do to not only prep for 2014 but make sure that the lessons of 13 are not lost on us i think that's really a big lesson is that just because our military is back flying doesn't give us the right to go back and rest on our laurels again. Mm -hmm. Take the lessons learned and try to make each air show day better than the one before it. And I think sometimes it's easy to basically do as we've done before and the military will take care of everything. And that's not how we run our business and we don't think that uh, people should do that. So make sure that just like you run your own business, make tomorrow better than it was today. And if we just make sure that we do that, that, I think we'll be much better off. Aero TV is brought to you by Redbird Flight Simulations is dedicated to revolutionizing flight training by designing, manufacturing, and delivering affordable and innovative flight training technologies. Each Redbird device is designed to enhance the training experience for pilots of all levels, from student to ATP. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration.